Hi, this is Michael Buffer, and let's get ready for Knockout TV. So lock you up. Right on the phone, <laughs> UPAP, Ali just agreed to fight Wepner. He called oh, him back with the date, called him back in a half an hour, they called Cleveland where Don King was from, and dropped oh. up the date in the Cleveland Coliseum, right. which is in Richfield, Ohio, right. Nick Maletti's place. Okay. Nick owned it, and... Um, that was it. March 24th, 1975. March 1975, the Richfield Coliseum. Okay. And they called all the papers and they had it out. They, they, I forget what the story was going to be on the back of the paper, the sports story, but they took it right off and they put the pictures of us on. Oh, that's and, great. Uh, back page, know, front page news, really. Right, right. Okay, let me ask you something. How did you sleep March 23rd, 1975? How was that night for you? Uh, you want to know something? I slept okay. Did you? As a matter of fact, uh, uh, I was so sure of winning because I was in such great shape that I went out and I bought my wife a powder blue negligee the day, day before the fight, and I gave it to her. That's the worst thing you can and do. I, yeah, but I gave it to her. I said, I want you to wear this tonight to bed. <laughs> this was my second wife. Okay. With my, with my third wife. Now, I practiced on the first two and got it right. Not a boy. Make a long story short. She says I still didn't get it right. But anyway, I gave it a powder blue. <laughs> we'll have her later to tell yeah. that one. I gave it a powder blue negligee, and I said, wear it tonight, because tonight you're going to be sleeping with the heavyweight champion of the world. Anyway, I didn't win. I come back to the hotel after the fight. I walk in. She's sitting on the edge of the bed in the bedroom with the powder blue negligee on. She says, am I going to his room, or did you come to mine? <laughs> I say, you're very funny. <laughs> I mean, Should I even go there?